time, goodbye paddle tennis, hello pop tennis. What one Hollywood heavyweight is doing to bring in some more fun to the kids and community centers. We'll be right back. And it's a healthy and fun way to get a little pop exercise. What one Hollywood heavyweight is doing to bring pop tennis into the mainstream. A good Sunday morning, everyone. Schools and parents will tell you it's tough to get kids engaged in a sport that they'll keep for a lifetime and won't hit them hard in the pocketbook. Well, pop tennis is one of those sports. It's cheap, fun and easy to play. It's what our grandparents once called paddle tennis. Paddle tennis has been around for 100 years, and while you may have seen this game, most likely you haven't heard about it. The clothes pop. Everything about our sport pops. TV talent agent Ken Linder has officially changed the name of an old game from paddle tennis to pop tennis. Like pop art, pop entertainment, pop tennis. It's got a pop to it, much like the sound of the ball to the racket. Cheap to play, and in a time where real estate is crucial, requires less space. Three pop tennis courts can fit into two tennis courts. And unlike the country club setting tennis may have, pop tennis doesn't. It's affordable, requires no membership, and it's easy to play. The thing about pop tennis is it's less intimidating, much easier on the body. The courts are smaller, the nets are lower, and the ball and the racket less lightly. As you can see, it is fun and the gratification instant. The great thing about this for kids is they can immediately be good. A once overweight, clumsy and insecure kid, Linder credits pop tennis to his success on and off the court. All of these things contribute to a child having wonderful feelings of accomplishment and mastery. And here's proof. Are you pretty good at it? Do you yes. Think? yes. <laughs> You're pretty confident about that. Do you think maybe you'll go to college and play tennis? No, I go to pros. Wow! This is Avatar. He started playing pop tennis two and a half years ago, and now just crushing it out on the court. He puts all of his might into the game. You go up. Bah! 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 Like all your energy. Hey! Okay. You're fast on this court. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, you almost beat the older guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and 14-year-old Nate started playing pop tennis at the age of two, and he says he knows he'll play it for life. You don't have to run as much. During tennis, you're all winded, and this is kind of like an up game. You come up to the net, you're hitting and swinging, and it's fun. It's competitive. A game for the young and old. We actually saw a woman last week in San Diego, started at 80, and she's 92. And she is hitting the ball and rocking out with her 80-year-old friends. So it's wonderful. Pop tennis, a new name to an old game. Next up, free clinics in L.A. so kids everywhere can pop right in. Yeah, even old ladies like me can play. It's a lot of fun. You know, the pros like John McEnroe and Andy Roddick love playing pop tennis over at Venice. It's getting popular once again. The name change has taken place with the prestigious California Pop Tennis Conference. The only goal, not just to get it in schools, but to one day make it a game at the Olympics. How about that?